So I'm quickly recording this as I may have found a person who might be using an overlay. I just want to get your get your opinion on this. So I just want to see. Because this guy is literally not really is really only focused on punishers. And this is kind of a Yeah, this guy is literally just focused on punishers. And in the last round where he beat me, in the last match, I mean. He basically just was... Yeah, low parry. So, this guy is literally just focusing on punishing. Just punishing, that's it. And I think that this guy is probably using some kind of an overlay. Very good with punish. You don't need an overlay for that, though. Okay, so this guy is most likely not using... Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> I you didn't expect him to use a... Use one of those, one of that move. That move I didn't expect it. This guy is probably using an overlay, or he's using an auto punisher or something like that. The problem is that he is not even trying to attack. Now, probably he's just practicing. Ju um, I mean, practicing Julia. That could be. That could be a thing. I don't really understand. I know that he's probably not using a some kind of a bot, like some people use. What the hell? Great. Is it, this guy is playing very weird. I think I should just go for plus frame. Let me just check if, if I shotgun him. What happens then? Okay, so I was wrong. <laughs> not duck. Okay, so not using... This guy's not using a... It seems like this guy's legit, though. Fight. Nice. Oh no, missed input. Great, I'm gonna get punished again. Yeah, yeah. 
No, no, no pal read. I actually uh, that was a misinput. That was a misinput. I basically completed that combo even though I that, that was bad. That was bad by me. Get ready for the next battle. I seriously believe this guy's using an overlay. So the reason why I'm recording this is because if if somebody actually sees this, they can correct me. The amount of knowledge that this guy has about Julia is incredible. I mean, of course, I've seen the Julia being played in pro level and people don't punish every single thing that she does. It's not like her minus frames are... They have pushback, there are many other things that, that makes it very difficult for anybody to punish. Nice. Great. I actually thought that I would avoid the mix-up. Great. Great. Round three. Mix up hell. Great, I missed input again. KO. <sighs> Round four. Fight. Again, low curry. I'm gonna get punished. Yeah, knew it. You lose. Alright, this guy's not giving Okay, so this guy didn't give me a revenge match, but um I mean I'm not going to go and check his inputs, not going to do that. But hmm. Seemed like a guy who was using some kind of an overlay. It's been a while since I've actually played somebody like that. It's disappointing. If he was actually using an overlay, which I think he was, then I guess that it's it's sad though. It's really, really sad. Okay, so we're fighting the same guy again. And this is in the arena, which is a stage that I like. I do not know why this guy didn't give me a revenge match, I was giving him a good challenge. I still believe that this guy is probably using an overlay, but I'm not sure though. Not sure yet. I was certain at one time, but he missed some some punishers. Now, good hackers, of course, they don't they don't actually let you know that you they're hacking.
Too late. I fell step the wrong way. Perfect. Round three. Fight. Oh no. Very weird, he could have ended me right there. Great. Why is he giving me a revenge match? I don't understand. Hmm. Thing is that the reason why I think that he was he was using he was using an overlay is because I was using shotgun a lot sometimes and when during plus frames he didn't even try to react which begs the question like most julia players who are familiar with them know that if julia spins this can be interrupted by a jab it can be like the fastest thing that she can do from here is this which won't connect if you if you have if you interrupt the jab so Especially this can be interrupted as well. But I really seriously don't understand. I think there's a follow-up. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> we forgot about that. They have a new challenger. I'm trying to think that was that guy actually using some kind of an overlay? Because I think he was. Like, it's. I've never seen in my. I mean, I played Tekken God Omegas and they don't do that either. Like, what he was doing. Like, perfect punishment. Um, once interrupted shotgun, I believe, just once. Not. not the only reason why I don't think he, uh, this guy was using an overlay is because sometimes they fail to punish. Now, of course, that can also mean that they are basically faking, like, not faking. <laughs> it means that they're basically, uh, like, uh, trying to hide the cheats. But then again, why would anybody want to hide the cheats in, in a game like this where there's really no penalty for cheating?
How did I get hit by that? Be mashed. Well, oh, that's a natural combo. I didn't know that. Round three. Fight. Oh, lucky. Great, you're gonna gain missed input. Oh, miss inputs are very, very bad. No, yeah, now I got the input correct. Oh no. I tried to sidestep. I tried to sidestep and this happened. Whenever I try to sidestep on PC for some reason, uh, I think I should switch to a gamepad or something. But the, the keyboard is so fast. The only problem is that sidestepping is so... It feels very weird on keyboard. Like I have this very cheap... No, no, under like ten dollars. No, that's not even ten dollars. I think it's around about five dollars. I've got a gamepad. It's it's D pad is pretty good. The only problem is that the rest of it is pretty crap. Oh, can't read. Oh, nice duck. What the hell? <laughs> My H key was not working like for that sweep. It wasn't working. Oh great. Oh great. He pushed back the Ashing arrow was pushed back way too much. Nice mix up. Round three. Fight. That was a missing foot, by the way. <laughs> that was a missing foot. Again, miss input. Oh, that was I was on minus and the lashing arrow. Oh, 
KO Final round Fight By the way, what that those punches I was doing I was trying to get the mad axis but I couldn't get him. I was trying to get the mad axes for a very long time, but I couldn't get them from the other side. But there's, there's this problem with mad axes that sometimes, uh, I mean the keyboard input, there's something up with that. That whenever I try to get the keyboard input, it doesn't really work properly. It's true that you can store the mad axes for like a really long time, but sometimes it simply doesn't really work. Round one. Fight. Great, another misinput. Missing inputs too much today. A finally mad axis. Finally. I can't believe it, like, uh, how did he mash when I was, when I was like, in swift step? I don't understand. Nice, Rage. The problem with um, the like battle, um, battle. the mighty ruler that I played just now, uh, if that guy was actually using some kind of a bot, then they would probably be able to well avoid most of the things that I was doing. But it doesn't seem that way. There were instances where they were they didn't really reply or punish properly. If they were using an overlay, they could have, and also. The, the reason why I think some of the punishes were actually a little bit unreal were because Perfect. the reason why some of the finishers that I had were weird was because That was funny. Oh, nice. I'll get combo. God, I got the bad axis. It's all coming back to me. Oh, nice. Very good pu uh, with punish. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with that. Oh no! It's right. so... <laughs> Round four. 
Well played guy. Oh, high crush. Nice. That's what I was talking about, basically. I think this is gonna kill, yeah. Thank you, spirits. Okay, so my CPU usage is slightly high for some reason, I have no idea why. Oh, I should skip intros always. Oh, nice, nice. Why is the CPU so high? Nice. Again, I missed input. Again, I missed input. Again, miss input. That was supposed to be. Oh, again, I missed input. Again, I missed input. Again, misinput, my god. This was the right input. Nice. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. That was that was just me getting lucky. <laughs> okay, that was another missing foot. I have a feeling that probably the reason why I win a lot is because not many people know how to play Julia. Great. I'm getting a rage off. Next time I'm gonna wait for this guy to actually do his rage on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I usually don't do that. The, the problem is that I had to do it on that occasion. I don't really like using Rage Arts. Uh, just waking up. I like to use combos. And in between combos, I like to use Rage Arts. So I don't really like just using a Rage Art, just getting up and using it. I think it's a cheap move. And in Tekken 8, they're very prominent. I don't know what the developers are doing. The super moves, they should only be allowed as part of a combo. They should not be in wake up. So th this is the misinput that I was getting so much in that in that particular match. Mm hmm. Again, misinput. Shotgun is not working. Okay. 
I'm not sure why my CPU is just so high right now. I'll have to check it. Hang on a minute. Okay, so for some reason, it seems like my CPU usage is okay, but... Um, it's a bit weird though, my CPU usage seems fine over here. No, it's not. What's taking up such so much of my CPU power? It's OPS, but why is OPS taking so much power? Why? Usually did not used to. Now it is. What happened? Okay, so I'm facing a Tekken God Omega. Round one. Fun. Mm. Nice. You can see that even this Tekken God Omega, who definitely knows how to play Julia. Was <sighs> on plus four. He mashed. So you can see that this guy is a Tekken God Omega, but it's also true that it's Julia. So Julia is one of the worst matchups for. One of the worst matchups for How Wrong. Perfect. Damn it! I was basically uh, trying to jab jab him out of the stance. Damn it, man! Why am I not getting the mad axis? I'm really not getting the mad axis, which is bad. Really. Round four. Fight. Nice. Great. <sighs> Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. <laughs> So the the fact about this guy is No, I'm going to get punished very badly. Oh, nice sweep. Oh, that was plus. I forgot about that. The problem with... I think you can sidestep this to... Nice. No, power crush. The power crush failed. My power crush failed basically. That's the reason why I got counter hit. I hope he gives me a revenge. Oh no, he's not gonna give me a revenge match. 
Why is my CPU is it still so high? I don't really understand. Why is it so high? This actually gives me uh, a bigger impression that this that that guy who was basically uh, using, you know, that guy, that mighty ruler that I played, he was probably using macros because this guy was actually playing like a human being and he was actually, you know, not launching some of the things that could have been launched actually. I actually, actually saw that and that guy was taking God and Mega, so, yeah. He lost the first round, which basically means that it's Julia, basically. Julia is a terrible matchup for our round. I need to actually understand how do I get out of that frame trap that our round does. I don't really remember how you get out of it. But I think you can sidestep to some, like, some direction. I don't remember where it was. Okay, so the CPUs, it should be a little bit less. I just changed the encoder. Uh, hopefully this will be fun. I'm surprised my CPU is usually very good at these renders. I do not know what the hell happened this time. And I really wish I could play that Tekken God Omega like at least 30, 40 times. I would have really liked that. The reason why I'm saying that is because, like, Haurang, Haurang, Julia is Haurang's nightmare, really. Great, another missed input. Okay, so picking my CPU usage, which was actually pretty bad, and I immediately found a challenger and they went away. Now, if the challenger immediately leaves, I'm basically kind of like honestly start believing that they're probably using some, using something that gives them an idea of what of who the who the other player is. I'm still using. Like, sorry, I had to cut off the feed because of damn it, because of the problem that I'm having with my computer right now. If you lose with Julia, it's your fault. I'm gonna just say it. If you lose with Julia, it's your fault. Because Julia is a player. Is actually not a player. <laughs> I mean a character that is overpowered, she's straight up broken. And that, I wish that Tekken God Omega would have given me a rematch, because I'm pretty sure I could have beaten him. That was a misinput too, by the way. The real sad part about the last loss was because was that I main how wrong. I mean, I am basically a how wrong player. I'm not really a Julia player. I'm lear still learning Julia in the process of learning her. I don't know most of the combos. As you can see that this is basically one of the combos that I know. Let me just show it to you. This one. This is 52 damage. Of course, you can't really be competitive with that kind of. Uh, Hmm, no, I'm not even getting, yep, got it. Okay, so you can see that I'm not really a very good Julia player anyway. And that is probably 59 damage. I don't remember what it was. Damn it, I'm missing the inputs today. 
better. Pretty fine, not bad. So there's one weird thing that I found which I wanted to share about that guy, that that uh, Kazumi that we played. And the weird thing is that I wanted to go back and replay and to and check whether, you know, that guy was legitimate or not. And this is the first time that has happened that I went to the replay like that. And I have these Tekken Omega matches, but I do not have the... I do not have the Kazumi matches, so this is basically a kind of like a and say it, it's kind of a confirmation that this guy is most likely was most likely not legit. He was probably using some kind of uh, some kind of system that didn't let the let Steam like save the replay. I'm not sure about this, but I cannot find that Kazumi matchup. This is the Tekken God Omega that uh, basically beat us, beat me in fact. And I will have to actually play this, play this guy more. I think this guy is probably a Pakistani. In any case, this, so this guy was obviously legitimate. The the Tekken God Omega was playing very much like a normal Harong players do. Is that? I myself haven't played Harong that much. Uh, I mean, played against Harong that much. I mean, I'm, I mean, I he is my main. You can see he's a usurper. But um, I just played Julia because she is well. She's powerful. She's actually absolutely broken, and people use broken characters all the time. So I thought I should join the party. Because if for some reason the input seems a bit better for whatever reason. And the input seems. A bit better now I'm not sure why this is the case but yeah Very weird though with uh, with Tekken sometimes the input is perfect sometimes the input is bad now this is just exactly the same day there's no difference uh, the only difference is that I did turn on steam overlay now that cannot make a difference with uh, with uh, with this uh, with the input lag I don't think so Actually, I don't even want to record playing against him. Like, not at all. I, I don't like playing this guy. I will probably not uh, give this guy a rematch, even if I lose. Because uh, Lee players, I mean, Lay players, sorry, not Lee, Lay players. It's not that I have anything against the characters, character or the art or the players themselves. I just don't like playing Lay. That's all. I love playing Kazuya's Jin's. Um, those are the characters that I like playing. I mean, no disrespect to them. Nice. What's your combo? Not sure. Round two. Fight. Perfect. So, what I was basically saying is, is that I don't like playing Lei. Nice. Good. KO. 
round four. Strange. Fight. Oh, that was a misinput. That was a misinput. I was going for uh, twisting arrow cannon, but didn't get it. Nice, high push. Ah, oh, come on, I pressed duck, still didn't get it. Oh gosh. What? I'll give him just like one rematch, I'm not sure. He's, I don't think this guy's even going to rematch me. I was trying to get the mad axes, but he basically used a high push. Anyway. Yeah, this guy's not going to rematch me. Last time I actually didn't give him a rematch, so he's not going to give me a rematch, which is fine. I think I should actually focus on, like, uh, the late punishers next time. I do not know wh where he is in minus or positive. I just, you know, just guess, I guess. But, yeah. Had I not gone for the Mad Axis that time, I probably would have won. Like, uh, this is what I was trying to do. I was basically trying to hit the Party Crasher and not for that I wanted to do this, but, you know, it didn't work. And I have this... It's weird that his Power Crush, the Power Crush that Lei has, wasn't... I couldn't punish it with a 30 frame. That was the weird thing that I actually found. Guys, I'm ending it here. This is this is it. I can't play anymore.